aids, including my GPS over here, the GPS 500 Garmin. And I want to pick a nice long runway that I can land on because I'm carrying a lot of speed and I want to slow myself down. So meanwhile, I have to manage the aircraft while I'm uh, figuring out what to do. And I see an airport over here that I'd like to go in on. So I'm basically going to head straight in. I do not have my ILS uh, frequencies dialed in yet, so I'm not going to do that. My main job is to slow the plane down big time. Now, the winds favor me going down on the left base. You can see planes coming over there. So I'm actually flying against the traffic in a sense. Once I get in the pattern of this airport, I'll be on a left downwind. So I check my distance again, and it's only about 12 nautical miles before I'm going to be there. And I calculate my speed. I'm going still too fast, and I'm going about six miles in a minute. So I definitely want to reduce that uh, because that gives me only a few minutes before I'm there. Now. I'm going to position myself parallel to the runway on my on the left downwind. Okay, take a look at my situation. I checked my barometer. I got 6,100 feet. I'm going to go down to five and try to stay there. But I'm also going to try to reduce my speed and get stabilized here. I want to trim for about really like to get under 200 knots, miles per hour. Now this thing is with a heavy load is going to land about 175. Better have a long runway waiting. I hate the reverse thrusters a lot of times. So that's my object right now is to slow down. So I got total reduction in the throttle, carrying a full load. There's my field. I'm coming in on the left downwind. I think maybe I'm just going to give myself just a little bit more room because these turning things will turn wide. Also gives me just a little bit more time to get my speed down. Definitely want to slow, slow down. Okay. Okay. Now I would definitely be in touch with my traffic control here and I'm waiting to go under 200 nautical knots to uh, put my gear down. So I got 200 and put my gear down. Got to keep it a little slow speed. I got one more flops down. Okay, I'm starting to get ready. Now I want to, okay, now I'm at a reasonable speed, 175. That's a good speed to be at. And I put all my flaps on here because I want to slow down and hold it there. Now I want to descend more. I still got 5,000 feet. And keep an eye out for traffic. I can see planes coming on the inbound, so I'll probably follow that plane right there. And again, there's another runway right here. If it became a fuel emergency or something. But in this case, I still want to lose some altitude, but I don't want to pick up much more speed because it's definitely I don't want more speed. Okay, good. Steady as she goes. Donald Dunford, M83, MD83 is coming in. Now, there's another one over here, so I may have to follow him. I got a lower altitude, but he may have priority for some reason. Now I can actually be in touch with the air traffic control and say, look, I'm actually stabilized here. I'm ready to land in a pattern and I can hold out if I need to follow somebody in. So in this case, I got 175 knots and I'm going at 3,500 feet. I'm happy with where I'm at. Put my full flaps down. There's my runway there. Okay. So Donald Douglas uh, MB83 is on final. And I'm looking around. What's going on? Okay, 
okay. Now the question is, can I make this turn? It's tough. I've got a heavy plane, and I want to go downwind a little bit more, so I make sure I have a rope to make that turn. 150 knots, that's a nice speed, I like that. Okay, so now I can descend and pick up some more speed, and here I go. I'm coming in on my left base. Again, this is a, something I would never do in real life. I'll never have the opportunity, but it's very good practice because if you, you have to really have a plan and what you're going to do, and you got to keep your knowledge of what this aircraft can do. Now, this MD-83, he's two nautical miles ahead of me. I got 160 knots, and I level out. Okay. Okay, I'm following him. And this is going to be interesting because, again, don't sink. I don't do this. Okay, got 1,300 feet. Don't sink. And I got don't enough sink. speed. And I got full power to make this turn. Don't see. Just to make this turn. Don't see. Got 175 knots, that's still good speed. Okay, got a little bit of a warning there. Again, this is not something I do. Okay, I'm following close on that MD-83. I have to be ready in case I have to do, go around. I can always pick that other runway. Okay, looks like he's about to land, so I'm, I'm okay. Okay, now, I got three gear down, I got myself fist I got a good speed, I got the glide slope, I got full flaps. I'm coming in, just rocking just a little bit here. I got good speed, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. 600, power off, rudder. Well, again, <laughs> this is a plane that I do not fly, so basically I passed this MD-83, shut off the power, landed in front of him, but I'm really down gentle. <laughs> Put on my reverse thrusters and uh, taxi off the runway here. There we go. Now, whoa. Not bad for a rookie.